Good morning. Uh, welcome as we share our devotional thought on Romans chapter 8. And if you have your Bible there or an electronic device with the Bible on it, please turn to Romans 8. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been climbing up this incredible mountain of perspective in Romans 8. And Romans 8 is saying to us that the work of the Holy Spirit in your life is happening even when you don't realize it. And that the work of the Holy Spirit in your life is promise proof that you will receive greater things in God's future eternal glory. And so I count it a privilege that you would share your time with me, with us, as we join together around God's Word. Uh, so let us share God's Word from Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 34. And I'm going to be reading from the NIV. And if you can see the screen, I would encourage you to read this aloud with me this morning. Romans 8, 31 to 34. Or if you've got your own Bible there, uh, please turn to that reference and let us read. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Three verses to excite our souls. What stood out to you from these three verses that excite our souls in Romans 8? What stood out to you? Well, you might like to let me know. Uh, contact me and uh, let me know what stood out to you. What stood out to me was what jersey are you wearing? What jersey do you have on? As you're probably aware, there's a season of sport about to kick off on the weekend. And in every game, there are two sides. And one way to know what team somebody is on is to check the jersey they're wearing. What jersey do you have on? At the spiritual level, there is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world. And one way to know what team somebody is on is to check their jersey. What jersey are you wearing? And as followers of Jesus, we wear God's jersey. We identify with God. And there are benefits to being on God's team. If you are on God's team, it doesn't matter who is playing on the opposition. It doesn't matter who is on the other team. If God is for you, who can be against you? If you're on God's team, it doesn't matter who is opposing you. If you're on God's team, it doesn't matter what is challenging you. If you're on God's team, it doesn't matter what is facing you down. Because when God is for you, everything coming against you is not meant to destroy you, but develop you. When God is for you, when you're on God's team, everything that comes against you is not to destroy you, but to develop you. And I believe that during this season of COVID-19, that this season that has come against us, that God is developing us. God is developing us by promoting our spiritual growth, redirecting our focus, redirecting our priorities, Developing godly character within us. Now we know that God is for us. How do I know that God is for me? How do I know that God is for you? Well, Romans 8 reminds us that if God sacrificed Jesus so that he could love you, bless you, and be in relationship with you, he is for you. One of the lessons here in Romans 8 is not how you are less, but how Jesus is greater than. 
One of the lessons here in Romans 8 is how Jesus is greater than. One of the lessons here in Romans 8 is not about your shortage, but about Jesus' ample supply. And because Jesus is our supply, he gives us all things. All things? Well, probably not the things that you want, like a big screen TV to watch the start of the season. But the things you need, <laughs> forgiveness, affirmation, love, grace, God gives you all those things. You see, everything you need for victory in this season of your life is within your reach. And often God puts it into your reach and not within your hand most of the time we want God to hand us a miracle put it right into my hand right now but when you look at the Bible nobody gets a miracle passively the Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God in other words you have to be a participant in your breakthrough you have to be a participant in what God wants you to to do in your life you have to be a participant in the work of God in your life you have to be a participant in your breakthrough so God puts it in your reach because God is looking for people with faith what jersey are you wearing because if you're on God's team then if God is for you, who can be against you? So let's come to prayer to our great God. Dear God, we thank you for inviting us on to your team. God, I thank you that we can live in the truth of your love, even when we don't believe it ourselves. God, I thank you that you never stop loving us. You never stop pursuing us. You never stop wanting us. Thank you that because you are for us, who can be against us? In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. Well, thank you for the privilege of sharing with you today. And please don't forget that we are joined together on Sunday. We're going to be celebrating Pentecost Sunday. And I would encourage you to find a symbol of the Holy Spirit. In the Bible, there are many symbols of the Spirit. Fire, wind, breath, water. Find a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Set up communion for yourself and your household. And then please take a photo. Take a photo of your communion table, your symbol, and upload it to our church Facebook page or uh, send an email to me. But church, I pray the blessing upon you today. That may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. So that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Amen.